What's going down, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we're in there. Clutch. Hey. hey. Back at Top was another video, you feel me? Psychic cringe fails. Number one. Uh, we was just scrolling and we ended up coming across this one. I was like, man, we got to check this one out. It's different. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cringy moments. Yeah. So, um. I'm falling for it. Yeah, let's do it. You Should we? I think we should do half. So let's do maybe like, what, nine minutes? Yeah. Ten? Yeah. We can nine do or something. And if y'all want us to check out the rest of the video, Gotta run them likes up, you feel me? Facts, let's, let's do, do it. it. I lost my boyfriend tragically um, a few years ago. They never found him. Trying not to laugh. And I've Damn had it. such a hard time gotcha. since. There's a Montel, too. Damn, the I remember The reason why Montel. you didn't find him is because he's in water. And to find him in water, it's like the girl is missing in Aruba. Her face you, you, you can't find somebody. Well, it was September 11th. There was no. He was a fireman, but. Well, no. See, I keep seeing him in water. Is there any way he could have drowned in water some way? They never found a piece of him. Nothing. From 9-11. Because he, he says he couldn't breathe and he was filled with water. Hmm. Well, if they were trying to put the fire out, Montel. They could have, you know, I, yeah. No, they won't find him, but honey, that's okay, because it doesn't matter if they find him or not, he's still over there. I've been in business with this for over 30 years. So we decide... What? She got to run them hands. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm running on the stage. You, she got to run them hands. She got to run. It doesn't matter if they find him, he's still there. She got to run the fist of cups, oh, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She getting them hands. Oh, yeah, I'm snatching that with you all. She getting them hands. I've been in business with this for over 30 years. So we decided to see what would happen when we asked a psychic detective to help solve a missing person's a case. Detective. Posing as the distraught brother of a missing child, we sent our producer, Charlie <clears throat> McAravey, to meet with Lori McQuarrie. Hi, how are you? Very nice to meet you, Lori. We showed her a photo of this missing girl, and she agreed to take the case for 400 bucks. But I think it's solvable. But what Lori didn't know was that the photo our producer gave her was actually a childhood photo of me and obviously I'm very much alive I don't believe she's alive I'm sorry I believe that it was a violent passing McQuarrie's sixth sense told her the girl was brutally murdered and sexually assaulted I think she was hit in the head with a rock but her visions didn't end there I think she can be brought home Pointing to a remote spot on this map, she even said she could help bring her body home. And maybe even a mile or two from there. The next day, McQuarrie sat down for an interview with me to talk about the work of psychic detectives. I just had a gentleman in yesterday. 30 years ago, his sister disappeared. She soon began talking about a recent case, but clearly her psychic abilities didn't tell her that I was the girl in the picture. One of the first things I do in a case, Lisa, is she I always is. make sure people know that if I feel the person is living or not. And so you'll always know yes. when you talk to a family member, oh, when you start a case, you'll know if this, this person is, is dead is. or alive. And that's the point. Is that Every I, time. Yes. But apparently her psychic abilities didn't see this coming. Lori, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Yes. Does this girl she look said, familiar yes. to you? Yes, she does. I work this case. This is a girl who you said was beaten and killed. Okay. This little girl is me. Mm -hmm. And you told somebody that she's dead. Wait a minute. You didn't disappear? I'm right here. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? How do you explain being completely wrong? I can't wrong? explain it. I can't explain it. You're charging them hundreds of okay. dollars. You know what, dear? Hundreds of dollars. Done. You're taking advantage of okay. desperate people with a bunch of hocus okay. pocus, aren't you? No, I'm not. I think we'll go. Thank you. It's been an interesting experience. You all have a lovely, lovely evening. I invited three mediums to a one-time Victorian oh, Chinese when it all channeled the gone. name George. 
an evil fat no, man right who here. was the factory's first manager. <coughs> She's given me the name of George. And I've got the name George. Was it George? It was George, yeah, yeah. The only trouble is that George is part of a made-up story that I planted on the Chocolate Factory website a week ago. I feel like he was quite angry about something as well. I think they might be cheating, and I'm curious to see if they'll repeat any more oh. of my fake history. It would be great if you could go into a trance. I mean, OK, I could probably go into a semi-trance, but not a full trance. So he put a fake ad in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> George, did the horses hurt your legs? Yes or no? Bro. Astonishingly, Goldie has actually summoned the ghost of my made-up factory manager. Her deception is almost complete. Oh. You OK, Goldie? Oh, sorry. You OK? Yeah, I think so. What I'd be really interested to get out of this is, is some surnames, if possible, to try and... Um, Kind of pinpoint these people. Okay, she's giving me bull, um, what, dog, name? bull, dog. So, so, what's his name? I've got George and I've got bull. Well, Goldie's this... definitely researched my internet story. Goldie, can I tell you something? Yes, sir. Um, you, all the things that you channeled today, like, you know, George Bull, the American manager. Yeah, uh, you're going to tell me that he's got nothing to do with it. Well, um, <laughs> I have to tell you, it, that all came from a story what that I made really? up. Oh, did it? With the help of uh, a parapsychologist. And, and we put that you up put on, the, yeah, no. on the website. Congratulations. And, and did you read that website? No. So how, how did you know all these facts? And... Um, a friend of a friend. But, uh, I mean, are you still pretty certain about the George Bull thing? I am, yeah. I'll be honest, um, I chose the name Bull for a reason. Because it's shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm psychic. Um, I knew that. You basically retold the whole story yeah. that we wrote. My guy told me before I came here that I was going to be tested and I said, fine, then we'll test one another. So does that mean that you cheated? I did. For most of it. How much truth did we get tonight? You probably got about 30%, thank you, Anna. Yeah? Yeah. But a bit about it being called the chocolate factory. I don't think it was ever a chocolate factory. That's the one thing it was, Goldie, I'm afraid. <laughs> It was a chocolate factory. Was it? Yeah, you see, you've even got the truth from. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I've decided to show him oh, the fake no. manager's portrait I planted earlier that conveniently has a name plaque, George Bull. Wow, this is ridiculous. People be getting people on with their money, bro. George. 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 You getting a name coming from? Do you know that the initials are his second name? Mm -hmm. Would it be? Yeah. Would it ball? It was. Mm. That's what I got. This history that we've got here mm. um, is all made up. That's made up, you sure? Yeah. You're positive? Yeah, I got someone to write that. Check it. I got someone to write that and then mm. put that on the Chocolate Factory website. So where did I get ball, ball from there? I, I think probably from the name plaque on it. But I didn't see the name plaque. Uh -huh. I can't see it because I need glasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In a moment, bells will chime. It is the signal for Raymond and I to initiate the final step of the linking process. <clears throat> Stop. Please, please. I'm already king. It's coming. When the tone sounds, the box will be open, breaking the connection between Raymond, the box, and myself. No, please. No. Come what are you on. doing, This nigga was in a raven. A ring of salt, dog. It's easier to read Raymond's writing in the mirror. Dang. She said, my man, I'm good. It says metal, rectangle, four wheels. And I hope it gives you something to remember for the rest of your lives. I thank you. I'm 
hand on your shoulder. I can see you're itching to say something here. I just think it's comical, quite frankly. Um, before I even move ahead here, I'll invite Ori and uh, your friend Raymond right now. I have uh, two envelopes here. I will give you a million dollars of my personal money right now if either one of you can tell me specific details of what's... Now, don't tell me about the energy or that it's not okay, the right man, time, I'll but tell just tell me what, what's in here right now. An, tell me right now what's in, what's I in the envelope. I find you an ideological tell me, tell bigot. Me, That's what I find. What's in the envelope you right claim, now. Tell me what's in the envelope. That you tell me what's in the envelope. You, you don't, don't give me all this bullshit. Tell me what's in the envelope. You do not believe Tell me what's in the envelope. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Tell me, tell me what's in the envelope. Right here. This is a live show. This is not. Bro, zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. That was one of the funniest. Oh. All right, we gotta end it right there. We gotta end it right there. Oh my god. Oh my bro. god. That was. <laughs> All right. We got He wasn't, he wasn't, he by was, invisible spirits, he wasn't hurt no more, he was ready to box. Oh my god, <laughs> you say you a bigot, <laughs> <laughs> he got mad, he was ready to, and the nigga is like, yo, this is in front of a live studio audience, this is not planned, we're gonna come right back after these commercial oh, breaks. <laughs> they was about to fight, bro. Oh my god. God, he got dog. mad that he was calling him out. He said, I think it's comical. You know what? I give you million dollars of my, my own money. personal money. <laughs> you tell me what's what in this envelope. What's in this envelope? You know what? I don't want to hear no energy. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, dog. Y'all got to run up the lights just for that last clip. That shit. Oh my God. This <laughs> nigga <laughs> was acting so Fucking serious, how dog. He, I want to know how he kept writing. Dog, that nigga was <laughs> with some salt around him. <laughs> this nigga had salt around him. Uh, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> oh my, that that's top I'm tier dying. funny, bro. I'm Definitely run up these likes so we can <laughs> check out the rest of this video because this <laughs> shit. This shit was the oh, funniest stuff I have oh, seen man. on this channel, bro. Oh, we would definitely god. check out the rest of it. Oh my god, this was great. Yeah, Run man. up the lights. <laughs> Y'all got to, man. So oh, we can god. check out the rest of this. Oh my god, that was great, dog. Hey man, hey, never forget, we love y'all, man. <laughs> Stay safe in them COVID. <laughs> yeah, shit was funny. <laughs> y'all be, y'all be careful, man. We oh, love y'all, bro. <laughs> Take it, we in the car. <laughs> <laughs> It's the fact that the nigga got caught, bro. That nigga, oh his back was hurting. He told me, some... "All right, man." Long it goes into this, been through that, been through this, and on my past, I found bliss in the way that I carry on my back. Let my soul sing my song. It goes, ooh na 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 na. I still 